Hello! I'm in Sapporo this time. I have been to Japan like seven times already. This is the first time ever I'm in Hokkaido. When you are in Japan, of course you're gonna eat ramen. Sapporo has the best ramen in Japan apparently. This is the first ramen place we found. The restaurant looks modern because it's in a office building in the business district. The first real Japanese meal in this trip. Look at Michael attacking the bowl. The sound of appreciation to the chef is so satisfying. So the next night, it was so cold, it has been snowing like no tomorrow and all we wanted was a bowl of hot ramen. From the hotel, we jumped into a taxi and told the taxi driver to take us to the famous ramen alley. The taxi driver was like, oh no no no, no Japanese goes there. He can't even speak English, but all we can guess was no and then we were like okay just we want to eat ramen just take us wherever you think is good so he took us to this restaurant taxi driver took us here we paid and got off the taxi and then we saw this long queue usually michael would never wait in the queue for the food but this time he's happy to do it the queue actually moved faster than I thought. We moved around the corner and then we got in the restaurant and then we realized there's still another queue inside. I can't believe we are here waiting for ramen. And as long as only brings me to the best restaurants. <laughs> it's smoky but it smells super delicious in here. While we were sitting there waiting, they took our order. We ordered this most popular shun shu ramen and some fried dumplings in an extra large bowl. 45 minutes later, this is it. I always have the broth first when I eat ramen and this miso broth is full of flavor and the noodles are so perfect for slurping and chewing and the pork, the fat on the pork is unbelievable I'm a slow eater but I was under so much pressure because of the queue behind me Well, we have tried it After we ate it was still early. The ramen alley was walking distance. Even though we didn't go eat there, we still want to go have a look. This is the famous ramen alley in Sapporo. The alley is quite long. There are so many shops. If I have to pick one to eat tonight, I wouldn't know which one to pick. And then the third day in Sapporo. Still want to eat ramen. So we went to the hotel reception and then we were like, what's the best, closest ramen place we can go? This ramen is number seven. Yeah. It's a very nice Miso ramen. We walk around and around and couldn't find this restaurant next to the car park. Out looking for ramen again. Linda! <laughs> 
Can you make yourself disappear? Yeah. We saw this one on the main street. In the morning, we walked past. They didn't even open yet. There's a queue already. When we walked past then, there was a queue again. Second night queuing up for ramen. And my ninja boyfriend. That's the place tonight. You didn't tell me to smile. Because I don't lose my smile. We waited for about 45 minutes again tonight. Lots of celebrities have come to this place to eat ramen, including this one. Okay, I have to tell you, the ramen's good, but when we were eating, there's an earthquake. I've never experienced earthquake. What the? F <laughs> it was like you are on a roller coaster without the seatbelt. I was the only one in the restaurant. Screamed, and everyone was so calm. I just can't help. Kids stopping to take videos. Next day, we took a bus to Zhoushan Kai Onsen Town. At night, we want to eat ramen again, so we went to this family-owned ramen place. There's just something so comforting about a bowl of ramen. <laughs> It's so good. We're gonna go from Zhoushan Kai to Liseko to ski more. Oh, we missed the bus! Long story short, we have to take another bus to go back to Sapporo and then from Sapporo to take a different bus to go to Liseko. So between buses, we have 45 minutes. So we went up to the Renmin Republic. Ichimiki, Ichi Sapporo. Sapporo Ramen Kyowa Koku. Sapporo Eki Chikaku no Esta. Esta no Jukai Niwa Sapporo Ramen Kyowa Koku to Yes. Ramen no. Let's just go. How Japanese people love to queue up for their food is ridiculous. Welcome to Niseko. So we were in Niseko skiing. Apparently, on the top of the mountain, there's a ramen place. You know how in Japan, the ramen shop usually have a ticket machine, and you have to put money in, give you a ticket, and then you go to the other side to collect your ramen. Because we didn't have cash with us, we didn't get to eat in that restaurant either. And one lunchtime, we went to this restaurant in the village. That was the last ramen for this trip. That's the sound Japanese makes. Thank you. We're going to be ramen out. Press the key. No, the dog. Ah! <laughs> it's so lucky. This is eat home time. Oh, Ramen is definitely one of my most favorite dish in the world. I definitely can eat a lot of ramen. This concluded our adventure for ramen in Hokkaido. Thanks for watching to the end you must love ramen as much as i do peace